Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. It is Friday. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to even fathom where July went. I think this is the fastest month and I'm not gonna complain because uh, I want to beat the heat. I'm really grateful that God has brought rain more abundantly this year than he has any other since I can remember because who knows what this heat would be if it wouldn't be for the rain. So thank you, God, for rain. As you join on, it is Friday, B-Day. Hey, Deborah Falter, I love you. So good to have you here. And oh my goodness, I can tell you, I, today I put in for the order for Amazon to enlarge the cover because it is, a hundred pages over what I put in for for the book. So today, they start enlarging the cover. It should be finalized Tuesday, hopefully live on Wednesday for sale. But yes, I'm editing the last chapter and it is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let me, I brought my glasses. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Maria. Hey, Dina. Hey, Katie Higgum. So good to see. Sorry, I, scoot, I swiped you off. <laughs> well, today is the last B day. B-E-E. -E. This week, this week has been amazing because every day has been B day. And so today, are you ready? Is be ready. Be ready. B-E-E. -E -E, ready. I'm telling you, get ready. And it kind of tails on to yesterday with be expectant. Because when you're expectant, you're preparing. But when you're ready, you've prepared, okay? So it, being expectant, like we talked about with someone anticipating babies, baby, guests, they're in the mode of preparing, okay? But when you're ready, it's because you prepared. Do you hear this? Understand that I'm not this brilliant that I thought of today's B day. God did. He told me what to bring to you today. And as I'm doing this, he's bringing this all together while I do it. How awesome is our God that yesterday he told us to expect, to prepare, and today it's past tense. We're prepared were ready and able. We have ability because we're prepared. And so let me just bring you another snippet of the book. I think it's chapter five. It is chapter five. When I do the construct on language, oh my goodness, a construct on the language of fruit. There's three chapters on the language of fruit. So you can understand that language just like you can a foreign language. If you want to study a foreign language, you pick up a book that shows you that language, right? This book has three chapters that show you the language of fruit in the physical realm and in the supernatural, the quantum physics realm. So part of chapter five, really gives you the construct, the whole paradigm, the core, the construct, the architecture of fruit. And I have an acronym as always for fruit. I'm not going to give it away, but the R stands for reading, reading and it's reading others and reading circumstances. So why am I bringing this up? Well, 
if you look at the word ready, R E what? A D read. <laughs> ready, you have to read to be ready. I get into the concept, the Germanic root expression of read. And when you read others and you read circumstances, you don't realize that you're reading people all day long. You're reading people. Like scripture says, we're a written epistle read among men. We have to let our light shine. And so that word read actually means to advise, to consult, to counsel. So whether you know it or not, your self image is advising you all day long. So if you're in Christ Jesus in those places of wholeness, those places, hey Monica, those places of wholeness, you're reading others through Christ. It's pure, it's untainted, it's holy, okay? And so you read accurately. Whether we realize it or not, we're not reading circumstances in life. We're not able to receive the counsel, the advice of God because of areas in the self image that have a false narrative that keep you stagnant. And so you can't prepare. Hence, you can't be prepared. You can't expect, much less be ready, okay? And that would be like somebody that's pregnant, their stomach's getting bigger by month five, and they don't think they're pregnant, and they don't go to the doctor, and they think that their just stomach's just getting large. And they keep going through the second trimester and excusing <laughs> the fact that their stomach's getting large and putting it off on something else like fatty liver or just getting fat. Well, when they get to month three and they've already been feeling that baby at the end of the first trimester, definitely in the second trimester and at the third trimester and they're still dismissing it. And maybe they're thinking it's gas bubbles in their belly. I don't know, I'm just giving you a, a analogy. And they still dismiss it. So they're not expecting and they're not prepared. And so all of a sudden in month nine, they start having pains and they think it's a hernia because they've gained all this weight. They end up going to the ER thinking they're gonna have to have an operation on hernia when instead they end up delivering a baby. Guess what? They don't have a room ready. They didn't expect the baby. Secondly, it's not ready. They're not ready. That's how it is in areas of our self image that have good or bad, a good or bad complex. Don't understand, don't understand. I mean, understand, <laughs> understand that we're not to have the self image that we're either, I can't emphasize this enough, good. There's only one who's good and that's God and God alone, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, amen. God alone is good. We're not good and we're not bad. Now we can give good fruits, but those fruits are not us. They're Christ in us. And they're John 15, eight fruits of righteousness, Christ Jesus that glorify the Father, right? And so those fruits can be good, but it's not our identity. And I get into the book both a physical conditioning for the body as well as a spiritual, mental, emotional conditioning for the self-image simultaneously to shift that out of your body because good and bad is in the body. And in areas of your soul where you have that dichotomy that bipolar personality, you're either good or you're either bad. You're going to read others and circumstances incorrectly. And you're not going to expect 
and definitely you're not going to be prepared. <laughs> and so God is dealing with those issues because you cannot move into your destiny, into the new land, into the new territory until you expect and until you prepare. And it's like a rope that's been thrown out to you of hope and you're pulling on it and you're getting closer and closer to your destiny. So this is what God wants you to know. Be expectant. And when you're expectant, you can be ready. So you have a most awesome weekend and I cannot wait till you get your hands on this book. God bless you. I love you.